Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus have finally received the Android 8.0 Oreo update. It's about time, uh, two, three days after the Galaxy S9 got officially released in the US, my S8 and S8 Plus received the update. Now that they've received the Oreo update, I can finally start working on my revisited video and comparison with the S9 and S9 Plus. Video coming very soon, so be sure you click that subscribe button. But now it's time to actually take a look at everything that's new and included with the Oreo update for your Galaxy S8. Now here's the S8 Plus and S8. The S8 Plus is on T-Mobile. This is the Verizon model and both have gotten them. You'll see here, this is download paused. That's because I actually didn't install it on my S8 Plus yet, but I do have it installed on my S8. Now let me know, drop a comment. Let me know if you've received it on your S8 and which carrier you actually use it on. Very quickly, I would like to show you that it is now updated to Android 8.0 and also Samsung Experience version 9.0. So that is uh, some updates that come. So not just Android updates, but Samsung also has made improvements to uh, the Samsung Experience 9.0. So I will talk about those. Here's just a little Easter egg if you press and hold on that O. Right away, the home launcher got a couple changes. It still is very similar, but if you press and hold, jump into settings, you'll notice that app icon badges are there. So those are going to sh start showing up with a number without a number, either one, there's uh, either just dots or with a number. And then of course, show notifications at a glance. So to give you an example of what that means is you'll see, I have a one next to Gmail. If I press and hold on it, my quick notifications will show up. And then of course you still have your quick action. So if I press and hold on the Google one, you have search voice assistant, just some quick shortcuts within the app. Now I do wanna jump up to the top and show off a quick animation that comes with Oreo. When you swipe down, watch these little icons just kinda of pop over to the side there. So just pop, pop, pop over, up and down, just a little bit of an update. And then speaking of these notifications, you can actually time them out. So if I swipe over, and hit this, I can snooze them for up to two hours at a time, 15, 30, one hour, two hours, and I hit save, it snoozes that notification, it goes away and it'll come back within that preset amount of time. The edge lighting when you get a notification has changed, so if I go over to edge lighting and jump into those settings, there's a lighting style where you can change the effect, color, transparency, and width so right now it's very narrow, but if I make it a little more wide, see how much more that coloring shows up. Now watch the different effects, multicolor, glow, or glitter. So you have multicolored, you could just hit apply, and there you go. The Samsung keyboard itself got an update. You'll notice a toolbar up at the top to quickly jump between smileys, stickers, GIF GIFs, voice or settings, and then you can quickly swap between specific uh, things that you've typed in or text. And of course you have a bunch of categories down at the bottom or go right back to your letters. One of the better features in Oreo is smart text selection. So what happens is let's say I have one, two, three Oak street and I just press and hold on it. It automatically selects all of it because it recognizes that it's an address and even suggests maps to show up. Now let's try something else. Maybe a phone number selects it and phone, maybe a website, Chrome, my default browser, maybe an email address, email. There you go, so it will automatically select those specific things. Obviously you can go ahead and customize what you select, but specifically this one on Oak Street, see how it automatically copied everything and you can quickly jump to maps. Another update that came with that ex Samsung Experience update is the dual messenger feature where you can use two separate accounts for the same app, whether you have two Facebook accounts, two Snapchat accounts, two WhatsApp accounts, or any specific messenger app that you may have. With Android Oreo, you can save your username and password system-wide, but Samsung's also included Samsung Pass to quickly send into your online accounts using your biometrics instead of entering them. So with those biometrics, there's a bit of an update which I would recommend checking out uh, with, under lock screen and security. They've kind of updated and made better the iris scanner and face recognition. You can't have both on at the same time like you can on the Galaxy S9. There's no intelligent scan on this, so that seems to be an S9 exclusive. As a lot of you know, Samsung has done an amazing job at not only multi-window, but the somewhat of a picture-in-picture -picture mode. So if you swipe from the corner, you can make an app smaller, and then you can go ahead and move that app around anywhere on the screen so you can have a bunch of apps open at once. If I minimize Google Play, it brings a little icon where I can tap again to maximize, press X to close or expand it, and that's great for picture-in-picture -picture mode. But with Android Oreo, it also implements a picture-in-picture -picture mode. To give you an example, I'm in a navigation Somewhere in San Francisco, I'm just spoofing my location right now, but if I'm in the navigation and I press home, 
picture in picture mode is live so you'll see i can move this little window around that shows my navigation i sh for some reason you can't swipe down to actually hide this which you should be able to but it's not working but if you tap into it and press x it will go away or you can expand it anyways that's just about everything i wanted to show off for the time being that was on the s8 but the s8 plus is installing it of course too but both should be the exact same so you'll notice the same differences between the two hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did click that thumbs up drop a comment let me know how the oreo update is working on your galaxy s8 and a ton more videos to come so be sure you click that subscribe button and as always guys thank you very much for watching